What's up, my Finan love? It's Miss Finan D, and you're watching Finan Team and Unfiltered. If you are clicking on this video, then you already know who won Love Island UK 2023. So there's no need to put spoiler alert or anything. You already know. But when I tell you, social media is crashing right now as it relates to the Love Island UK side because people are not happy with the results and the winners now i completely understand that ty and ella you know i get it they were going through a lot of ups and downs and the test and all of that but with everything that has happened in their relationship their supporters still felt like they were going to win or even come close to winning now a few days ago probably a day or so ago ella and ty got into a fight again and you all remember he told her to shut up it's like okay we get it the both of you have been going at it arguing no relationship is perfect we understand but now is around the corner and we are still here fighting arguing so in as much as the love island audience they understand that relationships are not perfect they understand that people go through ups and downs and all of these different things but the reason why they gravitate towards couples that even though through all of their trials and their tests and tribulations and everything the reason why they gravitate towards those couples who are able to survive all of that is because they are relatable and so that's the reason why people were still holding on to ty and ella but for the finale to be so close and for them to still be going through it i'm thinking that's the reason why meaning people just got frustrated like oh the same thing over and over again not the fact that they're not ever going to argue again in their life i mean come on their relationship is still brand new if you think about it things are accelerated okay in the villa but when something becomes repetitive then people are like, okay, we're tired next. And I think that's what happened. And also the constant arguments and back and forth, people also pay attention to things like that and say, and if all of this is going on within this short amount of time, do you really think it's going to work on the outside? So I've spent enough time on Ella and Ty, but that's what's going on on social media. So they came in third place, as you saw on the screen. I've been flashing the picture now for a while molly and zach came in fourth place most of the fans felt like it was unfair for her to come back and be given a second chance people also allegedly said that her mom is or was a producer on the show and i've seen somewhere where that's false but she came in fourth place well she and zach came in fourth place and yo what she came in while well, she and her partner Lockin came in second place and the winners are jess and sammy and everybody is like what People are not happy about that, as you saw some of the tweets that I had on the screen earlier. People are highly upset. You will crumble. My God Almighty, I call heaven and earth to be a record today. That rock nation, you will crumble. <laughs> guys we have been played another love island robbery who voted for jess and sammy tell me maya made a mistake announcing the winners i'm gonna read more tweets and comments but i completely understand because sam and jess had a lot of arguments ups and downs it was a lot as well not jess and sammy winning i'm sorry but what the actual is this sammy doesn't even find jess attractive laughing my bleep off that's the part people are missing there are people who really mess with jess okay because they find her personality bubbly and all of that outside of the drama there are people who really like her so whoever that's standing next to her if you like jess you're going to vote for jess regardless of who she's standing next to i'm going to use scott as an example okay had Scott found somebody that he really liked, based on the way how the public responded to him and how much they liked him, even if they did not rock with that person, but Scott and that person were able to show any sign of, you know what, 
we can make this work he would have been standing there in the finals but he's a man of integrity and he wasn't about to pretend with abby at all and so he was no longer there and even if he attempted to pretend with her she was just so out there that the public was like absolutely not but if he had met someone and built something with someone he would have been in the finals not because of that person but because majority of the public really like him and mess with him i really wasted six weeks just for sammy and just to win eight weeks babe eight weeks i just want my time back right my studying my life my time i have learned a bitter lesson today thank god i stopped watching weeks back worst love island final of all time oh my goodness the heaviest emphasis on wasted literally nobody someone actually rigged the bleep out of this because the whole time it was between ty and ella and then whitney and her man people spend so much time on this rumor that molly mother worked for production that's why she was back in there and they were going to rig the system and she was going to win that no one even saw Jess and Sammy coming. Okay. Ella and Ty been robbed. Ella and Tariq got robbed. What? How are Ty and Ella not the winners? Because they are rubbish. Ella and Ty have been robbed. I'm going to read a few more and end it because at this point, you get the point. I'm actually shocked. So you're telling me Jess and Sammy had way more votes than Ella and Ty. That's what that person meant. So you're telling me Jess and Sammy got more votes than them? No way in hell. What an absolute joke. People voting for Whitney when like and doesn't even like her. It's very clear to see there is zero chemistry. The producers clearly showed an argument last night to ruin Ty and Ella chances of winning Ella's chances of winning the most pathetic fun in the history of love island they were robbed this show is character island not love island so as you can see as you can see there are also people who just felt like you know whitney and her man that their relationship was questionable but at the end of the day only time would tell outside of the villa this is rigged i don't care Tyreek and Ella should have been in the top two. I don't care. I am genuinely shocked. I thought maybe top two, but third, this just sits weird. I love Jess, but surely Ty and Ella had a more realistic relationship. As you can see from the last comment, people also think that race had to do with it. For all, I'm sure they are all happy to finally be out. They get to see their families, get back to life, get their phones back. I'm wishing them well. Praying for their mental health and all of that because social media ain't no joke. And some of these people forget it is a reality TV show and they just take things too far when it comes to the comments and bullying and all of that. So I do wish them well. I'm wishing all of you well and take care. Loves. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're aware that I posted. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.